I'm just speaking to Bishop Allen. You are here, the uh, Bishop of the Diocese, the Anglican Bishop of the Diocese of Bunbury, south of Perth. And I just heard from some of your priests that in this diocese you take NCD very serious and have a considerable involvement of churches in this. Can yeah. you share about that? Sure. We, we found that NCD is, for us, a great way to access across a great diversity of different parishes. We've got very small parishes, maybe only 10, 15 worshippers. We've also got large parishes which have about two, three two, three hundred people coming on Sundays. What we wanted was something that enabled us to talk across those structures. This year what we're doing is we're looking at passionate spirituality. So when we come together each year we have a synod where the whole diocese comes together, representatives of every ministry, we can actually talk about what we've done mm. and that will give us the, the, the place to go next, the, the adventure of what happens next. So we, it's very much a growing thing. Ellen, I am aware that uh, you being a bishop of the Anglican Church, you have to represent many different and even contradicting streams in your tradition, which can be quite a challenge, can't it? Yeah, it really is a challenge. Uh, and what, what concerns me is that when we get the difficulties of, of life today, there is a tendency for people to run in different directions and they, they scatter. And one of my um, concerns is that we hold together, that we take the richness of our tradition, we take the richness of our structure, and then what we do is that we enable within our structure to embrace the possibility of diversity. So what I'm interested in is a very rich diversity within a shared life, that we have a, a sense of common purpose and a diversity which meets the needs of our smallest parish and our largest parish. How far does NCD help you find this common denominator with the plethora of diverse different groups? For me, the, the, the great gift of NCD is around the, um, the sense that it offers a structure. It offers a way of thinking, a way of uh, engaging, which then can be tailored to each of our parishes. So I look at a, a very small parish, which is perhaps just a half a dozen faithful people meeting week by week. Can we imagine a way of, of speaking of passionate spirituality in a way that will make sense to them? And we found that we can but we give, a, we give a structure and then another place which has far more resources will find another way which meets with them. So whether it's um, something that happens week by week or something that happens on maybe once a year, we're able to find ways of talking about the common issues at the same time as allowing each place to celebrate that in their own way. And we have within the diocese large parishes, small parishes, remote, isolated parishes. We have charismatic, we have Anglo-Catholic, we have a broad church, all gathered together and all finding something in this that we believe can be shared.